to go to the Isle of Man to watch the TT races. And I said, why fly to the Isle of Man to watch the TT? Let's ride there. So my friend Bamidele and I rode to the Isle of Man. We were the first Africans to ride from Nigeria to the Isle of Man. Documented. I don't know, maybe the other ones are not documented, but one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. Because we went there to watch the TT races, which have been going on for over a hundred years. Every single year. Now, we had a social media team that was constantly talking about it and tagging the guys on the Isle of Man. Two Nigerians are coming, riding 8,000 miles or, you know, to the Isle of Man. And it picked their interest. They were like, huh? So they started monitoring us and left messages that as soon as we go to the Isle of Man, we should come to the Manx radio for an interview. How about talking? to two Nigerians, Toyin and Bamideli, who have traveled, now this is incredible, they've traveled over 8,000 miles on bikes from Nigeria to get here to the Isle of Man for the first time. Toyin and Bamideli, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Before then, I've been following legends of racing. Listen, if you're a motorcycle rider, you, you basically naturally gravitate towards who are the guys that are doing amazing stuff in the motorcycle world. I don't, I don't race, I don't ride racing bikes, I don't ride sports bikes, I ride adventure bikes. But I'm enthralled by the guys who race motorbikes. They are legends, they are not, they are not, they are superhuman. The John McGuinness, the Connor Cummings, the Michael Dunlops, these guys are superhuman. I watch videos of them racing and I was saying to myself, I want to meet these people. So when we got to the Isle of Man and after doing the interview, I was like, I want to meet John McGuinness. John McGuinness, has 24 Isle of Man TT race wins. He's next to angels. I mean, these guys are extraordinary. And I was on their island where these guys race. And I said to myself, I want to meet these guys. So just for the fact that, and you know, anybody could meet them. That's an amazing thing. You don't have to even be like a person who wrote from Nigeria to Isle of Man. John McGuinness was signing his books. And I got to actually meet him. I got to meet his wife. I got to meet his, his son. So after the interview, I said, I need to meet John McGuinness. And I went to where he was signing his books. And I said, John, I've watched videos of you way back in Lagos, Nigeria. Now I'm standing in front of you, and I rode my motorcycle here. And I want to buy your book and buy your T-shirts, and I need you to sign my helmet. He said, oh, with pleasure. He said, where did you guys ride from? I said, from Lagos, Nigeria. He said, big respect, big respect. And he signed my <laughs> helmet. And that was epic. And then... You probably have never heard of Carl Fogarty. Carl Fogarty has 59 super sport bike races under his belt. 59. He retired in 2000, but he's a legend to everybody who races super bikes. So I met him at an interview at the Manx Radio, and he signed my helmet. Then Connor Cummings, hmm. these are people who have recovered from life-changing injuries and went back and raced again. Conor Cummings, I think, came third in the 2018 races. And in one of the races where he actually was on the podium again, I watched that race live, and then I went to his paddock with his, 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 um, his aunt. I think she's his aunt, because uh, she works in one of the schools in, on the Isle of Man. So she took me to him, and she said, Conor, these guys rode all the way from Nigeria. And he says, amazing. And then he signed my helmet. So basically... I've met some of the biggest legends in the world of motorcycle, um, mo the motorcycle experience, and it's just a very humbling experience. And that helmet isn't going anywhere. You have to rob me with a gun or a knife to get that helmet from me, and you steal my nut. <laughs>